Looks like we're rolling in here. We got some people dropping into the to the chat. Um, greetings, everyone, and hello, music lovers. It's good to be here on a lovely Mother's Day. Hope everyone called their mom. Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Call your mom. Tell them Happy Mother's Day. Uh, as you can hear in the background, if you listen ever so quietly, you hear that that hum, that that hiss. That is none other than a fire-breathing diesel dragon behind me. I've had plenty of requests to fire up the diesel, and here we go. This is what she sounds like. That is a vicious monster. i got brand new strings on this one. Um, another question that I get a lot was about the Sir thing. This is my first Sir that I ever had. Uh, lovely, lovely modern here. And uh, just running into the diesel, the, the delay and reverb that you're hearing uh, is courtesy of the Ox, which is universal audio. I think it sounds rad. Nice stereo ping pong. Sounds really good, man. Some of the split sounds right here coming at you. One more time on that lick. It's one I've been working on. Some neck pick up here for you. So yeah, that's uh that's the diesel right there. Um, I got my pedal board out in front, and we're gonna dive into some of the options this thing has. But first, allow me to tune up. I hope everyone's doing good today. Uh, and, and before I leave and look at the chat, before I even look over here at the chat, I'm gonna um, just say yeah. I had to shave my mustache. Sadly, had to trim that thing down. <laughs> I got to see my mom later today. I encourage all of you to do the same. Not see my mom, obviously. See, go see your moms. Um, and Donna doesn't want to see no mustache on my face. She she expressed her disappointment <laughs> with that look. Um, I already glanced up right here, and I see somebody saying no noise gate. Nah, man, we're not going to use a noise gate. Um, in scenarios like this, 
This is the noise floor, and I think it's really important to show you guys like what super high gain maxed out noise floor is. Master volume over there is is breathing, baby. She's on like eleven o'clock ish, and uh, it's it sounds it sounds vicious. So uh, you know when you get an amp, a tube amp. Let's talk about tube amps here. You get a tube amp rocking like that, you're gonna hear some. You're gonna hear a little hiss. You're gonna hear a little little fur. And I think it's important to uh, address that and say, yo, man, this is real life. This is not edited out. When, uh, and here's another thing you're going to notice is uh, you ever watch a guitar player uh, make a video and they've got some wicked lick, right? Like, uh, I'm trying to think of a wicked lick. I don't know. And then, and then they start, and then they stop like that, and the noise goes away. That means they went in there and cropped everything out, chopped it all up, and got it out of there, right? I thought it was cooler just to leave it in. This is what it sounds like, you know? Y'all wanted to see what the fire-breathing monster sounded like. It's part of this. The noise is part of it. So obviously you can get some really cool uh, old school tones, old school metal tones out of this thing. Sorry, that was my iPad falling over. I've got my, my verb and delay on the aux and I'm running it from the iPad. So that's how that's happening. Let me jump in here and just say a big thanks to the last stream. Oh gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's say a big thanks to the last stream yesterday. You guys turned me on to something called Super Chat. And uh, Super Chat is something that I was unaware of on, on how to get it going. You guys were like, you got to have 30,000 followers. You got to have this. You got to have that. Uh, come to find out I was completely eligible for it, and I didn't realize it. So thank you for bringing Super Chat to my attention. And now it looks like you can put uh, emojis. I'm seeing, I'm seeing smiley faces, and I'm seeing flames and fireballs in the chat, and that's freaking awesome. Um, what I don't know how to see is if somebody uh, drops into Super Chat, and uh, I don't know if it puts you at the top or what, but it's enabled, so we're good to go. And cheers to whoever uh, brought that up. That was a short-lived 80s porn stash. Man, it was. God, but it was good, wasn't it? Didn't we have a good time yesterday talking about Skinner and, and the Doobie Brothers and Marshall Tucker? Man, that was fun. Yesterday's stream was, was slamming. I think, we can, I think we can top it today. Um, Smooth and melodic licks. Thank you. Crispy high fives to you. The first video I've ever seen of Shredding Through the Diesel. Yeah, man, this has been requested. People, people want some, uh, a lot of folks want some, uh, some shredding on the diesel. It sounds, it sounds so nuts, man. Amp when I was out with flats, man. I used it when I was a Scott Stapp gig. I used it on a, a lot of things, man. This amp has been all over the world. It's been to Europe. It's been, it, it originated in Europe, and then it came back to the United States to join me in my musical adventures. And now it, we went on tour, and it went back to Europe a couple of times. It's been to Mexico. It's been all over the place. So, Diesel Herbert will never leave my uh, my stable of weaponry. I used it on uh, my albums. I always use it on all kinds of things, man. It's a great Swiss Army knife. And we're going to jump into the to the channels. Oh, it looks like it goes yellow. I'm sorry, my ADD is kicking in. A free man. Thank you. Crispy high fives, free man. Uh, it looks like it works. So, yeah, if you have a question, drop it in the super chat. That's freaking cool. That's cool as all get out right there. Um, what's up to my man Alex, rockin' chippy, fellow G.I. Joe lover and uh, amp connoisseur. Uh, every time I want to know what an amp sounds like, I just jump over to Alex's channel, and uh, he tells me. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to hit some questions. Why don't you guys start firing off some questions about this uh, vicious uh, feat of German engineering behind me? I love it, man. with 
with murder on it, you know? <laughs> some neck pickup action. juicy man it's got a got a juicy overtone to it that i love and when you alternate pick stuff It's got some juicy, cool, cool overtones uh, going on, which I love about this amp, man. Uh, so, yeah, let's dig into the chat. Let's see what we got going on. Hope everyone's doing good. Go call your moms. Happy Mother's Day. <clears throat> man, you guys have got the chat rolling already. Holy cow. Let's see. Okay, I got some tornadoes. I like that. One guy says, uh, what the hell, who is this guy? Uh, was expecting A.W., and I see this handsome young man. It sounds like A.W., but he doesn't look like him. Yeah, man, that's what I got going on today. Look at that. Feel like I uh, feel like I'm back in high school, man. Holy cow. Uh, crispy high fives to all my music lovers that are throwing that terminology around. Man, if we make that go viral in the guitar community, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm saying I'm going to get some shirts printed up. Would you guys want some shirts and some hats? Maybe say, hello, music lovers or crispy high fives or anything like that on it? Yeah, I think so. How would I compare it to, say, the VH4? Can it do the Adam Jones thing? Okay, check this out. This is a great uh, segue. Let me jump on to another channel, okay? So now let's jump over to channel two. Uh, Herbert is interesting. It's got a uh, thing called intensity and mid on a knob. I think it's meant to kind of emulate those graphic EQs that the Mark Series amps had. But instead of it being a row of faders, as you adjust the, uh, the knob, it, it increases the scoop. Now, something's interesting about that circuit, and I'm not an amp guy. You're going to have to get Dave Friedman or Peter or John in here to kind of talk about it. They're not the apostles. Dave, John, and Peter are not the apostles. Uh, they should be. Those are the apostles of tone, right? I'm talking about Dave Friedman, John Sir, and Peter, Peter Diesel. Um, I don't really understand how this circuit works, but I know when it's in, the amp sounds incredible. Love it. Okay? So I'm going to leave that circuit in just pretty much the whole time we're, we're kind of jamming. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the delay on. So if I try to chug, you know, I'm... Uh, I'm, it's going to have all this delay on it. That right there is channel two. 
I think the closest thing in in to the VH4 Channel Three is kind of Herbert and Channel Two. Uh, let me look at the game. So the game's at like one o'clock, right? And. Uh, <laughs> I can't really do those things today. I end up defaulting back to alternate picking. But uh, that's that's kind of like what it sounds like with some crazy uh, crazy playing on it. And uh, man, I love the I love the This one's a lot like channel 2's a lot more immediate. Uh, especially in the, in the picking side. <laughs> So anyways, I keep uh, trying to think about two different things at the same time. And I've, I've started thinking about like some of these altered lines that I've picked up from a guy named Will, uh, Will Bagby. And they kind of have this kind of sound. He's kind of building a lot of things around these tritones. And it sounds so cool. So you got to you gotta pardon me. Uh, my ADD kicks in, and I start thinking about my play-in and, 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 and not the tone. So, uh, again, with the channel 2 in the plus mode, that's kind of what you're getting right there. And I, I use this tone a lot um, for uh, the flats gig, for, uh, for example. So I, I used it a lot for that that gig. Um, any kind of big power chord stuff in the show. And I would use those split sounds a lot, too. I feel like you can still hear so much guitar with the diesel, right? That's drastically different sounding than this. And this. Right, they all sound so different. think of the, uh, the the quintessential diesel tone it's somewhere in that kind of realm I really think it sounds sounds killer all right let's move on down see what we got that's the VH4 question uh, one guy says and that's why I'm here I don't even know what that means he's here to see me without a without a mustache um, well, oh, oh gosh Amati you guys rule you guys are chiming in Tom Quell what's up Tom I think it's buffering awful weird right now I hope it's not something I need to readjust. 
Uh, it looks like something's really messing with it. Okay, let's try again. I'm going to wait till I see the wheel where it's not buffering. One guy says, ain't talking about love, yeah. <laughs> Uh, is it, do I, do I need to end the stream and start it over? Um, let's, let me ask you guys that. I think I did. Yeah, let's, let's reboot. Let's reboot and start over. Hang on. Hang on. She's working her way out. Let's see if she catches up here. Oh, it's working now. All right. Dude, I got, I, I got totally overwhelmed there for a second. Move the camera down some. Oh, man, I can't because I don't have a different camera. This is just... This is just my iMac camera. Um, so it just is what it is at this point. Um, I will be getting a new new camera soon. Tom Quill, what's up? Much love to you. Uh, favorite video game soundtrack? Man. Zelda? Double Dragon? Uh, maybe Zelda. Yeah, Zelda or Double Dragon. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is awesome. Uh, the, any classic Mario stuff is awesome. Can I show some shred ideas? I sure will. I will show some shred ideas for sure. Let me just hit. Let me just hit a couple of these, uh, couple of these questions. Just see what else we got. All right. I don't think I paid enough for all of your true fire courses, man. Kurt, you too kind. Too kind. Cutting heads tonight with the diesel. That's right. Jack Butler, man. Which one will it be? I don't know, dude. Uh, <laughs> more fret wraps. Alex, you rule. Um, some Van Halenisms. Okay. Love him, King Edward. Love him, man. Um, yeah, so the, uh, the that's the diesel. We're all listening to the diesel on uh, uh, Channel 2. Looks like we're back in business. Says so a little choppy in Texas, but we're getting there. <clears throat> all right. So many people being at home and on the Internet. You know that's right. You know that's right. Uh, Pantera. I'm not the, really the guy for Pantera, but let me try to think for a second. I'm not really a Pantera guy. That's all I got. Um, so maybe you have to hit up Uncle Ben for that kind of stuff. Um, do I still teach private lessons? Yes, I do. Um, all right, so let's get into some stuff. Let's get into some, some isms. Diesel isms. What I'm going to do is I want to walk through the ant. How's that sound? Can we do that? I'm going to start over on channel one. I'm going to tune this boy up real quick. Tune this boy. This boy's got some new strings on him. 
I thought it'd be cool to pull this one off the wall. It's a really cool guitar. It's my first modern. It's a low serial number modern, too. I'm going to swing around and turn this bad boy on channel one. All right, now people sleep on this clean channel, and, and I don't think you should. What's an ism? <laughs> ism is a term that I when I say, uh, you know, like a Tom-ism. Like if I'm referencing Tom Quill, or if I'm, uh, if I'm referencing Dan Huff, I'd say that's a Huff-ism or a Bren-ism. So when I said, let's look at some isms, we're going to look at some diesel-isms. And a lot of people sleep on this clean channel right here, and I don't think you should. I think it sounds great, man. Mm -hmm. 